How you doing folks? I'm Jamie with another episode of Bad Taste. I am your pop culture archaeologist and today I really wanted to talk to you about Jurassic Park Wild Cherry Raptor Bites. God, these things were great. They came out around the time of this movie. It was just so great. Uh, I don't even know what year it is exactly. It's, it's wicked old and not fit for consumption and that would have been really fun to watch. Unfortunately, because of eBay user candy collector 254 who put on a very vague description who didn't say the box was empty. I'm coming for you eBay user candy collector 524. I'm coming for you buddy. We're not going to be reviewing these today. You got to take that off the stove because that's going to be a problem. Remember that's on the stove. <laughs> Jurassic Park candy from 1997! I yelled and I probably shouldn't. Today we're going to be talking about Lost World Jurassic Park's candy eggs from 1997. We're going to be tasting them, talking about them, taking a look at them. 1997 was the year that Tiger Woods won the Masters and now he's dead. This is an egg that gets little eggs inside of it, which is just, that doesn't, that's not how science works. Beyond that, I don't know if these colors are the original because it is kind of Jurassic. It does look kind of ancient, but I don't know if it's genuinely ancient or if it's meant to look that way. So this candy is kind of the joke that it's a joke on you, the consumer, and it never stops. You got an egg and you think, oh, there's probably going to be some sweet candy in here. You crack it open, you get more eggs. It's like going to the store, buying yourself a dozen eggs. You crack the egg open, there's a dozen eggs inside of that. You crack those dozen eggs open and who knows what's in that. All we know is that we're disappointed and it doesn't, and it doesn't make any sense. Uh, but we're not here to make sense out of these candy companies' strange decisions back in 1997. We're here to eat this candy from 1997 and, and give you a review on it. That doesn't mean I'm not pissed. I'm pissed. And I'm really pissed, goddammit! But we're gonna eat the candy anyway. It comes in a great container that looks like an egg, but it also kind of looks like a prehistoric butt plug or something. Uh, however, if there was a prehistoric butt plug, it would have to be a lot bigger because it goes into dinosaurs. Food for thought. Be before I'm even opening these, I'm noticing that these things are, they're, they're harder than Colossus' dick on Cialis. I mean, these, they're, you can't chew these things, and they're supposed to be chewy. You could tell they're those kind of chalky, fruity kind of things, and, and that doesn't bode well for me or anybody who's about to eat them 19 years later. Let's, let's crack these things open. Oh, wow. That smells like my cat. If you ever come over to my house and you smell my cat, this is what my cat smells like. This candy. It's actually like, I almost don't want to eat it because it it should just be remembered for this. It's a, it's, a, it, it's perfect cat potpourri. Meow meow, mother for the, for the person who doesn't have a cat because your apartment doesn't let you, but you want it to smell like you have a cat, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can, you can have this for that. Let's try it out, everybody. Okay. Here they all are. And they're just a beautiful color. And, and this could actually be the color it was meant to be because this is supposed to be dinosaur candy. Cheers, folks. Oh, wow. That, oh. That's nice. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to eat it. <coughs> I'm going to eat another one. It's so weird because they're hard as a rock in your hand. I can't squeeze it. I can't smush it. As soon as it hits my mouth, it is, it just turns into water. Okay. All right. I got it. I figured out what it tastes like. This candy. Oh, fuck. This candy tastes like expired grape juice. Like that you would get in a in the paper container for the grape juice. It tastes just like grape juice, but something's wrong with it. And maybe that's wrong because, does grape juice turn to wine? I don't know. Ugh! 
now I'm just eating more. So when you bite it, it turns into a poop, like an actual turd. Um, and I ate three of these for some reason. Let's see if a green one turns that color too. Oh, weird. The green one totally evaporates. There's, I can't even spit anything out right now. I'll try. No, I won't. Because this is a highbrow entertainment show. When in Rome, you know what I mean? <sighs> Man. Okay, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna spit this out. <coughs> this is not fit for consumption, folks. In the case of Jurassic Park candy from 1996, 95, 97, I don't know anymore. It's old candy. It's expired. Look it up. Google it. Um, do, I, I would say eat it. It's, it was all right. Uh, the flavor was there, but the consistency was gone. You know, if nothing else, I absolutely feel closer to my cat now. I got a little bit of him with me everywhere I go. It's on my hands and it's in my mouth. Yo. Give this candy a try if you come past it. Uh, I, you're, you're eating part of pop culture history with this candy. Um, and I didn't mean to break that. I'm gonna save that, because that's nice. Uh, I'll probably put something in there. A couple quarters, whatever. Use it as a coin purse. Anyway. My name is Jamie. This has been another episode of Bad Taste. I am your pop culture archaeologist, and I hope that you tune in next time and see what we uh, see what we have to uncover. God creates dinosaurs. God destroys dinosaurs. God creates man. Man creates candy. Candy destroys man. Man destroys the toilet bowl. Yeah.